Hey, what's going on, NFL fans, Atlanta Falcon fans? This your boy, Antoine Smith, 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 Sports Machine. Y'all know I get down, y'all know I do it, man. Press that subscribe button. Also, press that notification bell. Get my videos as soon as I drop them. Also, press that like button to help me get my videos through the YouTube universe. Greatly appreciate that as always. But I got a fan question, man. My boy Alberto, he's at it again. And thank you, man, for always throwing questions my way. You always come up with great points. And this one right here is another great point. And you know I'm excited about it if y'all see the tweet on the stream. Um, how can the Falcons get the most out of Michael Walker? My thought is using him like Dallas uses Parsons. And he's referring to the rookie linebacker Michael, Michael Parsons, who's having a sensational season. He's already set the Dallas Cowboys sack record for a rookie, um, replacing DeMarcus Ware's record of eight. And I think this is a great question because you look at Michael Walker's rookie season, 45 tackles played in almost all but one game last year, uh, one tackle for loss, two quarterback hits. Uh, but this year, he's dropped off a little bit, and mainly because of playing time. He's only played in like three or four games the whole season, and mainly on those games, it's special teams. But a talent like this, and I see where he gets to Michael Parsons' um, comparison from. Uh, well, not comparison, but, you know, use him like Michael Parsons because Michael Walker can play inside or outside. He can rush the passer or drop back in coverage because he had two passes defense this year as well. Um, you look at Parsons, um, I know he's a little bit more athletic. He's an athletic freak. Uh, but the same qualities are in Michael Walker, and you've seen it against Tampa Bay. You can send him on a blitz. You can drop him back in coverage. Um, he's sideline to sideline. And this is what I love about Atlanta Falcons linebackers. They're interchangeable. Uh, Deion Jones, who I think should play outside um, to get that speed going on the outside and have foul on the other side, another speed rusher. Uh, I think Foyer and Michael Walker can hold it down in the middle. Um, long enough um, to get, you know, the be the defense that I know the Falcons can be. You seen it against Jacksonville. Yes, they had a couple of lapses, but the defense the last two games, uh, even the shutout, even the shutout they played, well, the Falcons just couldn't move the football offensively. But when you have a guy like Michael Walker, who came out of Fresno State, by the way, fourth-round pick in 2020, um... I think he's one of those talents that you have to use uh, versi 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 versatile um, to his advantage because if he can cover and he can play in middle linebacker and he adds more size to that position, uh, and I found that I needed a thumper at linebacker for a while. You look at Jesse Tuggle, Keith Brooking, guys like that who can you know, bring the hammer, Michael Walker can be that type of dude. He's 6'3", about 230, 235, somewhere in that range. So, he is much needed size in the position. So, we're looking at, you know, him hitting, well, not hitting lanes faster because Deion Jones, he can fly like a jet. But I think Deion's versatility works more better on the outside than inside. And Walker is vice versa. Yes, he can play outside, but inside linebacker is, is his um, position that he's used to. So um, I think adding size in the middle with Michael Walker and using him uh, like Michael Parsons uh, to blitz, um, to drop back in coverage, I think it's the right thing to do. And if the Falcons can find a way to utilize his skill set, I think Michael Walker is going to be one of those guys that could replace a player that, you know, that can carry us into the future, just put it like that. He could be around with the Falcons a long time. And they may have a diamond in the rough, but they have to get him the reps, have to get him the plan time to find that out. Hopefully that 12 tackle performance against Jacksonville um, open Arthur Smith's eyes as to what this guy can do. And so, you know, Dean Pease as well. Uh, because Dean Pease, we say he's the master of disguise. And man, if you can get Michael Walker coming from the outside the middle or, you know, dropping back in coverage, or spying on the quarterback, I think it's a diamond in the rough. I think it's a win for everybody. But, Alberto, those are my thoughts on that, man. Thank you for dropping those questions. Truly appreciate it. But if y'all have a question that y'all think is worthy of, of discussion, please drop it in my inbox. Well, not my inbox. On my Twitter page, 
under my Twitter handle, which is right up under my name, under my picture, or you can drop it in the comment box on my YouTube channel at Smitty Sports Machine. But those are my thoughts, man. Y'all drop those comments. Let's debate. Let's have fun as always. It's your boy, Antoine Smitty Smith. Smitty Sports Machine. Holler at y'all later, man. Peace.